says, I hope you guys are doing pretty well. Um, we will be learning. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on with you. Um, let's see what kind of energy you can expect with this uh, new moon in Cancer that we just had last night. I think it was last. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Whatever. You see how sure I am? Um, well, anyway. Whatever. If it wasn't last night, it was... Oh my god, I have to check now. It was last night. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so this new moon in Cancer energy is definitely going to bring up, like, emotional stuff. You know, whether it's positive, negative, whatever. It's all... It depends on the energy you're more focused on. Um... But it, it's definitely, it's going to move you, right? This is like the energy of being moved by your emotions and your intuition and, you know, all that stuff. So, let's see it. Little Aries, little fire guys. Pentagram, harmony, protection, and idealism. I do like that. Um, I need to stop saying um so much. I don't know what it is. It's like when I get in front of a camera, just um, um, um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay, I like this though. The pentagram, it's a star, right? The star is kind of the same form as a human, you know, the two legs, the arms, the head, all that. And then with the circle around it representing like divine protection um when you know that you're divinely protected you you have like a certain peace about you you know it's like you're like okay even if things ever get rough it's like you know things will be fine <laughs> right ultimately that's just the way the cookie crumbles so cookie is crumbling. There's a little Aries. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so right off the bat, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, letting something go. Knight of Swords in reverse, this was something that you were very motivated towards, right? Something that you you really wanted or something that you were very driven by the ace of wands in reverse this could have been like something in regards to your passions your inspirations um yeah with the eight of cups in reverse it's telling me in your recent past you walked away from this or you let this go um with the five of cups it was very emotionally disappointing for you funny because it's very similar cards to the Sagittarius reading but I'm using a completely different deck um so if you have Sagittarius in your chart definitely recommend checking that out um you know look at all all the signs in your natal chart uh but it does get positive right this is I see a lot of your recent past, what you're walking away from, the disappointment you've recently um, experienced. Ace of Pentacles in reverse could have been a job. You know, this is something that that really awoke your inspiration. You really were like, this is dope, da 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 da. Um, but with a magician, first 
first card of an you know in the deck if we're not including the the full card which comes before this but it's zero right full is zero the magician is one um and that's all about manifesting resourcefulness um you know really allowing your intuition to guide you at least in within the context of these cards sometimes it could represent an illusionist you know um, but I'm not really feeling the energy of deceit here uh, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful, right? If you see, she had to climb all these stairs just to get to the top of her throne and she's chilling, right? Head in the clouds, perfect vision of all the earth below her. Um, really like just planted in this um holding on to her pinnacle her new opportunity new cycles um it's very beautiful energy could be going into a new job um something that is uh more financially like beneficial to you or even just on the emotional front because we also have the sun card right you see um that wall in the background represents having to overcome something to get here right but at the end of it they're like basking dancing in the sunlight um really knowing like this is bringing on abundance joy um and it's not just emo like it's not just material abundance this is emotional abundance this is like everything kind of coming full circle you know everything kind of just working out um even though at one point with the five of cups it's like there was a lot of disappointment there was a lot of it not working out and um this is like yeah it, it really opened up for for like something new to happen here two of wands i see you kind of at a crossroads here probably between like in the middle of like making a decision or choosing a path you might have a few different opportunities kind of presenting presenting themselves so um yeah i see you being kind of pensive about that having different options is good though Six of Swords, yeah, very like guarded, walking away from something, not feeling super dope about it. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles receiving a new offer or opportunity. It's still Pentacles, so it could either be an Earth sign or money but i feel like it's a job thing um more than anything it's like taking on a new a new job opportunity if you notice the knight of pentacles is giving this pentacle and the queen of pentacles is receiving it right it's in her hand so i do see this energy of you accepting an offer um but there's definitely a thoughtfulness here there's definitely like a lot of decision making and a lot of like like it wasn't an easy choice to make even the magician has that energy like it, it kind of matches that two of wands like being at a crossroads manifesting something new because of this feeling of like maybe feeling stuck you know or feeling like there's no room to grow where you were. The lovers is showing up. Could be uh could be entering into a new connection as well. Um or you could already be in a connection. The lovers card also represents big decisions, right? The devil in reverse, um, having to let go of toxicity, having to let go of 
things that don't serve your highest good. You know, this could be, you know, narcissistic energies around you. This could be addiction. This could be um, just, you know, overall not super positive energies for you. Um, so I see you kind of like dismissing the things that you know aren't so great for you and leaving that and choosing a new opportunity, choosing something that is going to be way more beneficial in the long run to your love life, your work life. Six of Cups in reverse tells me that you're very independent, like you like you like feeling like you can take care of yourself. You you like feeling like you're not like codependent, you know, which would ultimately make you like a power couple if you are in a connection. Um, Knight of Wands, yeah, here's that passionate offer coming in. Um, or you could be extending a passionate offer. This is something to be excited about, something to celebrate about. You could also be um, receiving, like I said, multiple um, opportunities at this time. Wheel of Fortune. I love that. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Things are just kind of working out. Wheel of Fortune, you know, it... It requires you to be at the bottom of the wheel at first, right? So that when it turns, you come out on top. So there is a level of having to leave something behind. With the moon in reverse, you could have discovered something about this situation that just, you know, or accepted a truth about this situation that was hard to do, you know, especially with that two of wands. It wasn't an easy decision to make. Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse, having to let go. Having to, you could also be in the energy of having to spend money at this time. You know, sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. Dupe. Yeah, so we have seven of pentacles in reverse and the nine of pentacles, right? The seven of pentacles in reverse is telling me that you were just, whatever situation you were in was not super fruitful. It was not beneficial. It wasn't, you didn't see yourself growing or progressing in that. And with the nine of pentacles, you could end up like being your own boss or starting a new business or something. Um, Nine of Pentacles is very independently made, like self-made, uh, kind of, yeah, kind of energy. It's, uh, entrepreneurial. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing. Right? It's kind of the same energy as like that devil card, right? But the devil is in reverse. With the Empress being in reverse following that up. I feel like you could have in in this work situation, you could have felt like because the Empress is also a boss, right? It's that boss energy. So, like, you could have felt, like, lied to or manipulated or, like, they just overall were, you know, kind of shitty in how they handled business or whatever. Five of Swords in reverse, it's like, you didn't even want to, to stick around and try to, like, resolve or change the situation. You were just like, it's just not good. It's just time to go. Page of Swords kind of had issues with other coworkers. Uh, you know, jealousy, spite, competition, that kind of thing. Um, and I feel like it just wasn't your gig. Like, you just weren't about that. Or you didn't want to stay in that. Mm. 
Yeah, King of Wands. That's definitely your card, bro. King of Fire. Wands is fire. Um, this is also like leadership, boss ass energy. Like somebody who's meant to be their own boss, especially with the Emperor showing up. I feel that you're really kind of cut out to do more. To be more. Uh, you live your truth. You honor your truth. You follow your passions, you know. High Priestess in Reverse tells me it's Pisces energy, but it, it tells me that you could have your doubts or your fears, insecurities about like progressing forward. But I feel like you're really being to like told by the divine that like don't worry, you know, don't allow yourself to get sucked into the cycles of worrying and overthinking and dwelling. Don't even worry about the outcome. Should going to work out you got the will of fortune things will be working out for you don't sweat it if things seem a little bit too much you know like it's okay things will get better um what's your advice eight of wands you're getting another offer or this could be you extending an offer because that is in your advice um, and it is wands, it's fiery. Um, so it's like, don't be afraid to like extend an offer here. Um, or to open up a line of communication because wands is also honest communication. So you could be in the energy of opening up a line of communication. Um, and it might not be or feel like the easiest thing. Ace of Cups, beginning a new love cycle. With the Lover's card, I see that. You could be extending an offer to a potential lover. Um, Ace of Cups is also filling your own cup, right? And remembering to give yourself the same kind of love that you would give to a lover, right? I always tell people, like, do the things for yourself that you would do for a potential lover, right? Um, in your single season, date yourself, right? Take yourself out, do the things, get yourself gifts, treat yourself, you know, treat yourself as well as you want to be treated and as well as you want to treat others. Um, and it really helps make the space, create the space for, you know, something that comes in, you know? Eight of Pentacles in reverse is saying you don't have to work so damn hard, right? And right now I think you're you're about to learn like you are going to attract so many blessings and you're going to learn what it's like to not have to work so damn hard, not, not have to burn yourself out in order to be as successful as you want to be. Um... So manifest, right? You got that magician card. I see you. You're resourceful. You got this. You know what you're doing. You're a boss. Maybe it's time to relax a bit and do some self-care. Maybe you've been working so hard. You're already feeling a bit burnt out about it, you know? So it's like, take it easy. Everything's falling into place. Don't worry. Don't sweat it. Don't overthink it. It reminds me of that Alan Watts uh, speech where he's like, a person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except for thoughts. Just specifically, mindless chatter in the skull. <laughs> I love the way he says it. But yeah, that's, you know, it's like, don't overthink it. Just be, right? Just allow things to be, you know, the opportunities are showing up. I see offers here and there, like, 
I see opportunities opening up for you. So I don't feel that you have anything to really be concerned about. Um, and if you do have concerns, like, that's not, like, especially with the high priestess in reverse, it's not. How, how do I put that? Um, it's, like, not going to have any negative bearing on you, you know? Like, you might be like, oh, well, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And da-da-da. Instead, think... What if I succeed? What if things just work out? What if these blessings just roll in? You know? We have Anahata Kali. Your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place in your life. Your heart wisdom and empowerment is growing. And soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something significant to your soul journey. Trust in the invisible workings of divine love in your life. Let your heart be at peace as it guides you onward. See, pretty much what I was saying. Nithya Kali. Through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. See, it's saying you cannot be constrained by what has taken place in your life. You will gain freedom, or you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. It keeps saying, like, you needed to escape a certain prison, you know. Um, allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall realize that you are not being denied, but released. There is something new on the horizon for you. Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. Um, so yeah, take eight. Take all the blessings. Um, I, I just feel like... This is going to have a way more positive outcome than even you could fathom, you know. Oftentimes, we struggle with manifesting what we want because we're, like, in the mindset of, like, well, this is all I've ever experienced or this is all I know I could possibly want. And then, bam, something way out of left field shows up, or left field, sorry, shows up um, and kind of swoops you. And, and then you're like, wow, I never could have guessed what I wanted because I didn't know that something like this could ever exist. I never experienced that. Um, so we really manifest with the universe through, like, figuring out what we don't want, you know? And then it narrows it down until we get there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys, and I wish you all the luck on your journeys.